how to DJ with just an iPad. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I've been DJing with my iPad for about six or seven years. I never DJed with a laptop, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you why iPads and tablets are the future of DJing and the differences between DJing with an iPad and a laptop and I'm going to show you guys why an iPad is so much better to DJ with than a laptop especially if you don't have a controller when you're DJing with the iPad using a controller makes it more fun but it is not necessary so stay tuned to the end of this video to become an iPad DJ expert so the first thing that you're going to need if you want to DJ with your iPad is to have a good DJ app. Now, if you look in the App Store, there are, is a lot to choose from, and I have tried all of these apps. I've tried eDJing, I tried Music Mixer, I've tried them all, and I've always found that DJ Pro by Algorithm is by far the best DJ app that you could use on an iPad. So this is the one that I use. So now when you when you open it up you're gonna be hit with virtual decks now if you're a complete beginner this may look overwhelming with all the, the buttons and all the stuff going on but once you know the basics it's very simple so in order to DJ with the iPad once you have the app downloaded you're gonna need to load songs DJing is playing songs one after another, mixing them together with no spaces between the songs, you're just playing songs. You don't have to overcomplicate it with, uh, with counting beats and all this other advanced stuff. You can learn how to do that later. So now to load a song, you press the music button up here. And now what's really good about this app is there are streaming services integrated. I made a lot of videos about all the streaming services integrated i'll leave links to it in this video because djs are the last people that actually buy music so if you want to start getting into djing instead of having to download all these songs and spend all this time downloading songs you could use your account for a streaming service so if you have an account to Tidal or soundcloud you could search any song on soundcloud and play it this is really good because you could start DJing like within five minutes. You download the app, you log into your streaming service, and you start to DJ. If you don't have an account with one of the integrated streaming services, all of them offer like at least a month to three month free trial. So you could try them out, and if you like it, you could keep the subscription. If not, you could try a different one or however you want to do it. So now once we have two songs loaded into the deck, What we're gonna wanna do is mix these songs somehow. So there's a couple of really simple transitions that you can do. And the first one would be just letting the song play to the end and then fade in the next song. You don't have to worry about the beats. You don't have to worry about um, matching the bars or anything like that. You're just gonna wait till one song ends and play the other one. So here on the DJ deck, this is how you play a song. Over here is play and pause. That's how you start and stop the song. It's just like if you're playing a song in your car or on a uh, MP3 player or something. It play and stop. That's what that does. Now over here to the right is the BPM slider. The higher the BPM, the faster the song. The lower the BPM, the lower the song. This is really important if you're gonna play two songs at the same time, because for it to sound good, they have to be the exact same speed. So if you see the song on the left is 128 BPM, the song on the right is, a, is 124. If we play these songs together, it is going to sound terrible. The beats are not lined up and the human brain can only hear one 
set of beats at the same time, so it'll sound very annoying to anybody that's listening. So over here at, at the top is the sync button. For a beginner, you're gonna wanna use this a lot. So if you have two songs playing and you press the sync button, it automatically matches the BPMs and it'll line up the beats for you. So if you wanna play two songs at the same time, this is what it sounds like without sync. And if we put sync on, the beats are lined up. It's not always perfect, but with electronic songs and hip hop songs, it usually does the job. Later on, you can watch my other videos on how to manually match the beats, but for now, just use the sync button. So everything that's on this deck is mirrored on the other deck. So don't get confused with all the buttons and stuff because it is the same thing. Over here is the waveforms. It gives you visual cues of what the song is gonna sound like um, in different parts of the songs. If it's small beats like this, it's not gonna have a lot of bass. The wider the beats get, the more power is in the song. Okay, so now you know how to play songs and now you know how to stop songs. So I'm gonna show you your first mix. So let's pretend this song on the right was done. It's getting to the last bit of the song. We're just gonna wait and press play on the next deck. This is a perfectly acceptable transition at a party, a family gathering, or someplace where you wanna start DJing. And now you're in the next song. So you could use this mix whenever you want and you just play songs and songs and as long as you have good songs that everybody is gonna like they're not gonna care that you didn't do the most fancy transition another thing you can do is you can do the backspin so you go over here when this song's about to end we're gonna spin back this record deck. It's gonna make a cool sound, and then we're gonna press play, but make sure you turn the song off. And now we're in the next song. So you have two ways to mix the songs. Now also I'm gonna show you really quick how to use the effects. If you press the effect button here, effects. You go over here in the manual, you get access to three different effects. You click here all of your effects but we're going to start it simple with the essentials so echo is going to leave an echo with the song so there won't be silence so we could we're going to let this song end put on the echo and then play the next song And it kept playing so there was no stop of the music it's a really great way to do an easy transition also there is flanger i'll show you it makes a cool like robot kind of futuristic sound and then the little sliders will change the like frequency and the type of of how much effect that you apply when you use it another transition that I'm going to show you is if you do want to mix two songs together and play them at the same time what you do is you find a part of the song we're going to start right here at this little intro part now up here you have access to the loopers so we're going to set four bar loop and that's what it's going to be and then now at the end of this song, we're going to pick a spot like right when it's going to get quiet and get loud again. Now we have two songs playing at the same time. And when the song on the left ends, we're going to take the loop off right about now. And it blends in perfectly. 
Also, if you want to DJ, you're going to have to organize your playlist at some point. So when you find a song that you like, you click these three dots, and then you go Add to Playlist, and then you pick one of the playlists that you made, or you can create a new one. New. And then you can add it into new. And now when you go over here, these are the playlists that you have created. You go to new, and then that's your playlist. So set playlist, get your favorite hip hop songs, get your favorite EDM songs, get some old school songs, whatever kind of music that you like, make playlists, use those easy transitions, learn new transitions as you go, and you'll be able to DJ without getting any type of special equipment, controllers, all this records and all this stuff. All you need is an iPad, an internet connection, and if you choose to, you could sign up to one of the streaming services. And now that you stayed to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys a quick bonus, and that is how to scratch. So if you hold in the music button to the right, you go to scratch tools, and now you have access to the scratch tools. You just move the record on the screen, forward, back, like that. It's a very easy scratch. And now if you press this, there's a built-in looper. So you could choose any one of these styles of music, and then you just press these and it makes a loop automatically in sync and the beat is good. So we're gonna add a beat. And now take the record and go ever, ever, ever. And there you go. Very easy. You can start scratching in about five, five minutes. You don't have to, it doesn't take years to learn. Now you can DJ, you know how to make playlists, you know how to do transitions, and you know how to scratch. So get your friends together, get some family together, throw a party, and DJ. If you like videos on how to DJ with the iPad, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, and share them with your friends. Thanks for watching.